So I'm not in my usual recording place, but I'm very excited about this and I wanted to share it with you right away. So this is my template for Tana for Tasks 2, which will launch on May 24th of 2023. Uh, if you want to purchase it between now and then, you get a 25% discount. Uh, but this template is effectively an app. You get this when you get uh, the course. Uh, and this is the this is the prime feature here. I just wanted to walk through a few of the things. So you can see how much it functions like an app within Tana, built on Tana, uh, and then just show you sort of the the scope of what it covers. Uh, I'm going to do it briefly, and some of this I've pre prepared uh, so that it'll, I can do it fairly quickly. Basic stuff for task apps is you have to be able to schedule tasks, you have to be able to assign them to projects, that kind of stuff. So we'll take these tasks here and we'll make sure that they easily assign to a date. We'll say this is scheduled for today. Um, and then this one we'll say is scheduled or assigned to a test project that I have here. And so those should then show up in these queries. That one's scheduled for today. This one assigned to that test project, and you'll be able to see here uh, that uh, if I assign this to today, and then I assign this to the test project, um, both of those will show up in those queries. So these are queries that I would have, like the today's task would live on a day node, uh, and the test project would live in uh, the project, the specific project. So each project you'd be able to call upon its individual uh, tasks that are related to it and see them on a calendar. Recurring tasks. So you'll notice these three tasks up here are actually the same ones down here. These are references back up to the originals. I'm going to turn these into recurring tasks. I wouldn't normally stick in parentheses every day and every Wednesday and every third of the month, but I wanted you to kind of see how I'm doing this here. This should occur tomorrow. Something that should recur every day should recur tomorrow. Next. This one should recur on Wednesday. Next. This should recur on the third day of uh, the month, we'll say. I'll say the month. We'll see how that works. Then I hit my little button here that uh, initializes these. Uh, this one should initialize for tomorrow, May May 15th. That's correct. This will initialize for Wednesday the 17th because it's said to do Wednesday. This one theoretically should be June 3rd, and there you go. It's June 3rd. And when I use these, I have to work with the references. These would be what would show up in a query on the daily node. Um, and when I work with them there, um, I can, you know, update them. When I'm done with them, I click this little button here. It'll mark them as done, um, and it will uh, reset the date. In the interest of resetting the date, I'm going to put this to today. I'm going to put this to last Wednesday, and we'll pretend that these are preset. I'll put this to, la to May 3rd. So now we'll say I have finished this. I click this. It's going, to, it's going to mark it as done, and it's going to update the original. As you'll see, this now says May 15th again. This said May 10th. You'll just to confirm this up here says May 10th now. But when I click this is done, it will mark it as done and that will update the original. So that will show up at the correct time or on the correct day, I should say. Likewise, this one here, the third of every month, I click it done here. It'll mark it as done. Um, and then it'll also convert the original to the next date that is the appropriate date. So that's how recurring tasks work in here. Very straightforward, very easy to use, and very reliable. They'll show in with the rest of your, your tasks will show up with it. Uh, for meetings and meeting notes, I pre this uh, preloaded this one a little bit here uh, just because there's a lot to it. But included with the template are any the thing you need to do, take meetings, including a person tag, um, including um, notes tags and action items that extend um, the tasks. I may twiddle with these colors and update a few little things before the actual release. Um, but everything is already in here. I have this meeting set up to be today. It's a Zoom call with John Smith about test product or project rather. Um, I took a few notes, said Marie couldn't attend. I had this meeting note here. Just for the record, meeting notes and action items are automatically assigned to the meeting. So if I were to take a new meeting note, you'll see here that it comes along with the associated meeting and the meeting topic, which means that any notes are going to be properly assigned to appropriate projects. Um, and tied to the meeting if you could, wanted to query it elsewhere. Um, so you have that. You have an action item which does the same, automatically assigns it where it belongs. You can schedule it just like you can schedule any other task. And then when the meeting is over, if you want to use a little AI, and I'll talk about that in one second, I can click Generate Meeting Summary. You can see Meeting Summary churning away over here. And shortly, our AI will return to us a summary of this meeting uh, based on 
the everything that's here. On May 14th, John Smith and the meeting organizer, that's me, had a Zoom call to discuss test project. Marie was unable to attend due to a minor family emergency. John reported his project, said in several people Blanchard, blah, 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 blah. And you can see I get a nice tight meeting summary. Now, this is a very brief set of notes, so this summarizes just about everything. Uh, but uh, if it were a longer meeting, it would give you a much, you know, a summary that you could work with as far as that goes. I mentioned I would talk about the AI in a little more detail. If you want to use this as is, you need to have an open AI API key. Uh, open AI is the folks with the chat GPT. Um, it's actually very simple and I will include instructions on how to do it in the course. Uh, so how you can get yourself an API key if you don't have one. Uh, they, they do have a charge associated with them, but it's minuscule. Uh, like in all the testing that I was doing in preparation for this as I was starting with AI last month, I paid like 50 cents for all of it. Uh, you're not going to do anywhere near as much as I was doing unless you start experimenting with it yourself. Um, and I spent 50 cents. So it's not expensive, just a matter of getting it set up. And that's fairly simple as well. Uh, also requiring the AI is this idea of being able to set off a project template with pre-created tasks. Um, but we don't have to have we, we don't know when we're going to have them scheduled until we have launched the template. Say I have a newsletter coming out and I know with each newsletter that a certain number of days before it launches, I need to have a, a draft done or I need to have something posted on Twitter to let people know that I'm going to be releasing it and try to get some more subscribers or for a cohort launch for my for my courses that I launch. There are several things leading up to the launch date and several things after that I want to be able to schedule. But of course, I can't schedule the dates unless I still have that one particular date set. That's what reference date is in a in a project template. And so you see, I've chosen Friday, Sunday, June, or Friday, Sunday, Friday, June second um, for for that date. And each of these tasks is preloaded with a day offset. So three days before is minus three. Same day is zero. Four weeks after is twenty eight. Now this is really fun. When I click this. It's going to turn these into template tasks, which is going to drag this reference date from the project down into these, do a little math, set the schedule date for this, and then swap it to just being a regular task. OK, so let's do that real quick. And you can see it is now working on the scheduling and it's actually already done. Uh, this is scheduled for May 30th, which is indeed three days before the 2nd of June. This one's scheduled for the 2nd of June, which is zero. And this one is 28 days after uh, the 30th. You can see it did it perfectly. And just for, you know, to see how all that works, you can see it's actually already sitting here on the calendar in the project dashboard. And the project dashboard is included uh, with the Tana for Tasks 2 templates as well. And so you can see that works nice and smoothly. Uh, this is what the template looks like. Um, you'll get this. This will be I'm going to clean it up and make it a little prettier uh, before launch. But essentially all of the super tags and fields, all the queries, commands, AI prompts that are associated with things, everything is included in this template where you can see it. And, and, and if you want, modify it. It'll also come, the course comes with videos that show you how this works. And also videos that dig a little bit into the uh, underpinnings of all of this. So if you wanna learn about how to delve into the commands a little bit, how to modify it, how to change things to what you need it to be, you can watch those videos. Plus Tana for Tasks has live sessions associated with it as well, office hours where you can come in and talk to me uh, and get some feedback on how you can uh, make the adjustments you're making. You can also do that in the course community, which is included with it. So this is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm excited about. I think this is going to be really cool. Uh, and I think I can't wait to get it in your all's hands, which is why I filmed it from my church office rather than my main office. I just wanted you to know all about it. And I'm excited to get it to you.